bodybuilder I want to focus on the spirituality of fitness there are multiple parts and multiple aspects but first before I get into that I hope you are having a fantastic day evening whatever time it is so grab a chair grab a couch sit back and enjoy this show I'm not like gonna be late, but I've got 40 minutes till we're live and the video hasn't been properly edited. So this is great. My next meal, trying my best to get that all prepared and put together and then I'm gonna head out of here and I'm gonna train a client and I'm gonna give you guys a little insight while training. Stretching time is by far the most important time and it is a must every single time. Yeah, I've time. been good about doing it every time. Good. It used to be, I just come and do it. I don't know. Hear that? And drop. Up again, up again. Come on. Ten. Nine. Eight. Controlled, controlled. Up. Finish. Three more, three more. Three. Two. Come on. One. There you go. Relax. Ooh. It's gonna burn. It's gonna burn. We're not done. We're not done. And up. Not gonna lie, not the tastiest food I've had. Hi guys, we just launched our brand, Inspire Athletics, uh, yes. in hopes to inspire and uh, inspire. <laughs> no, yeah. Wise we words from this man. <laughs> take everything in, take it to heart. But yeah, no, we are, we're actually like, not one of us slipped. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. That's how tired I am. <laughs> yes, sir. That's published. And finalized as of tonight, so. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, I'm going to add this in my Instagram. I'm going to add this everywhere. We did open a GoFundMe because this is a very, very large animal to get going. So in our training space, we will have lots of equipment. We will have lots of aesthetically pleasing stuff taken from yours, truly, the 1960s era. So there is a lot of equipment coming in, and it costs a lot. So any contribution you can have, I'm going to leave a link in my Instagram bio. It's going to be in his bio and down below. Any contribution is greatly appreciated. Wow. Wow, finally made it. To the fucking gym. An hour late, but... Alan, you better be ready, because here I fucking come. Actually, first things first. Look at this guy. Look at his sexy ass face. <laughs> but, with all due respect, he's been waiting for me for about an hour and a half. And appreciate this man. Do you want to see my second favorite person? There yeah. you are. I feel so special. Yeah, look at that sexy jaw, though. <laughs> at the very beginning of the video about spirituality and fitness. There's something that you have to realize you are more than just a physical being. And this is going to apply in your physical area, which is your spirituality, your mentality. 
and you have to work on all three parts. You cannot just work on physical and be the best physical. You have to work on the spiritual and the mental so that in these moments, such as I am in my right now, I can push past, I can push harder, I can go and get progress out of these moments without falling behind, without slacking. It's because I'm winning up here, up here, and in my body. They're all three connected now. There's nothing to stop me. That's all I have to say. I need to be 100% honest with you guys. It is hard keeping these motherfuckers open. It is really hard right now. I'm exhausted and words aren't quite coming out of my mouth, but I'm having a good ass time. I can tell you that much. Caffeine helped a little bit. Carbs helped a little bit. Made my stomach a little bit uneasy. Pretty much gonna stick to uh, some side. I only do this once a month because I'm not trying to make my gross side too, my, ooh, see? Words aren't making sense. Not trying to make my sides grow too much, but I do want my obliques to stay strong and secure. So let's keep going, keep pushing. Put that mind game past the muscle. We're stronger than we appear. We're stronger than we think. Oh my, it's literally midnight and I'm just now getting home because I end up having too much fun with some of the peeps at the gym and we end up talking too much and all the above. A wonderful workout. I think it was successful. <laughs> it was really successful. I'm very sore, very depleted in food, so need to refuel. So I'll share it what my next uh, couple meals are. Honestly, gonna see more of this, but favorite post workout meal right here. I got my uh, cream of rice, gluten free. Got my creamy peanut butter, and I got my applesauce. Let's dish this shit up. Hold up. Ka Second to last meal. I got me potato. I am going to stick to a rice veggie combination. So what that's going to do is make it more of a complex carb. Veggies are a little bit more slow digesting. And then this is my second to last meal. So I have my wobble grill per usual. And veggies, chicken, here's my rice per usual. I'm just going to measure this all out. Um, today I think I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. Wild buffalo sauce, it's not much. This is a nice little tasty meal, so let me go and put this together. And a razzle dazzle. I was not able to quite totally finish my last meal, so I'm going to finish that. As you can tell, this food is a little bit plain. I am going to spice it up. So I'm gonna add the spices plus the sauce. It's going to add a little bit of color, plus the more color you have in your foods, especially when it comes to seasonings, better it is for your digestive system, more bioavailable it's gonna be. Keep that in mind. It's one of the most simple and common things to remember. And I wanted to make a very large point of my food being in that container and how there was still some left over. I will not go to bed, I will not rest until I have finished every last bite. So that means if I don't finish the food in time, 
for my last meal, it's just going to transfer transfer over to my next meal and my next meal and my next and I'm going to make sure I get in all those calories. Every single ounce counts. I'm going to go ahead and sign out now. Danny Kool-Aid out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you guys with my next video.